What's up, you guys? My name is Mary I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future future readings. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a collective reading. Um, Cast beside you, every, every, oh, everybody in between. I'm having trouble speaking. Maybe somebody's having trouble speaking. Um, maybe somebody's trying to keep somebody silenced because I mean, I was fine until I got on here and clicked the camera on. So I think some one of you guys, somebody's trying to silence you. I think somebody's trying to silence you. They're trying to take your power, your voice away. They're trying to take your personal power away. Because like I said, I was fine up until I clicked the camera on and then what? So um, possibly, maybe for one of you guys that resonates for everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason. So just saying. So um, like I said, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general collective reading. So it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. If you donate through my PayPal way, which YouTube Live is not on right now, so you cannot do it the public way right now, um, it's a very private, confidential way to donate. I value everyone's privacy and confidentiality. So, um, and I appreciate all donations, single mother or two kids. So, just saying. Um, okay, so I received a channel message, so let me um, share it. Okay, so the message I received was. Um, someone, very wealthy individuals is what I heard. Very wealthy individuals. So someone, very wealthy individuals, um, is trying to, um, um, uh, oh my God. I think somebody's having a brain fart too. Lord have mercy. It's like they're trying to take your power, your voice away, or try to take your personal power away. Maybe they're leaving you foggy, like foggy minded or um, unclear on or confused on a situation is what I'm feeling because I'm having like brain fart energy and I was completely fine until I got on here. Um, I'm feeling that might be for one of you guys, but okay. So wealthy individuals, okay, um, is utilizing hefty sign on bonuses in large companies to attract um qualified individuals but i heard it's about to backfire in a huge way in certain areas um because they're um the people that are about to fill these positions are highly skilled magicians and they're highly manipulative and um it's going to backfire on these companies in huge ways so you plug it in however that resonates that's strong that's strong so Wealthy individuals. So, you know, I'm sure they've probably been, they're probably managers, bosses, CEOs, supervisors. Um, we're th I'm thinking possibly Fortune 500 CEO individuals. I mean, these people, millions, millions of dollars possibly. And I didn't hear that, but I'm presuming. But I heard they're using very hefty sign-on bonuses to incorporate people into their qualified individuals, I heard, into their companies, which is a bit... I'm not downing these wealthy individuals. I'm not at all. That is a very smart, genius tactic. I mean, it is because it promotes um, people feel respected. They feel respected. They feel wanted. Very qual highly qualified individuals that truly deserve the positions. They appreciate that is what I'm trying to say. They appreciate that. They appreciate the recognition and the... Um, um, forthcoming of offering bonuses to be included in a nice company, um, to know that they are appreciated and valued and they're getting a bonus for it. So I'm not downing the wealthy individuals at all that are doing that. That was a wonderful, that was wonderful. That's a wonderful idea. I applaud that. Um, but it's about to backfire. It's about to backfire because it's not because of what the wealthy individuals that have conspired and uh, not conspired but they have formulated they didn't conspire i don't feel i feel they formulated like boardroom re meeting energy in a boardroom to do this for people coming in to help their company grow i i don't think that's conspiring energy at all i think that's very healthy copacetic boardroom energy right there i feel that's very positive um but it hurt us about the backfire 
Um, it's in very um, high up, high level companies, I'll tell you that. Um, so possible Fortune 500 companies, possibly. Um, I didn't hear that, but it's possibly for some. I'm not downing these people because what they did was beautiful for the people coming in. But it's about to backfire because the people coming in to these companies, and I didn't hear what companies they were, I heard they're very skilled um, magicians. And um, it's basically about to down their company in each way. So that's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. Very lazy, highly manipulative, and going to drag the company down. If something is not done, Oh, oh God, yeah, this is terrible. I heard very lazy, highly manipulative, and um, about to drag the company down if something's not done. Gift reverse was on the bottom of the deck. I wasn't going to say anything, but it goes beautifully with this message. Um, gift reverse. So it's not the boardroom energy up here. These people, I felt, were really trying to do good by their company, good by the company, by the people coming in their company. They were trying to show the people were that the company values people. They value their skills, they value their intelligence, their knowledge, their skill set they're bringing to the table, whatever position that is. Um, I don't down this, that's beautiful. It's the people about to come into the company that's about to get these very large bonuses, sign-on bonuses, incentives, perks. Um, very large bonuses, very large. $10,000 and more for some cases. Some way more than that. Oh, okay, I heard very large bonuses, 10000 and more for some, um, some more than that, way more than that. So, um, yeah, so um, so it's companies offering sign-on bonuses, I heard of $10,000 or more um, in some cases, and some of these cases offering the $10,000 or more, it's way more than that. So I'm thinking maybe 50000 100000 I mean, we're talking high-level people or high-level um, positions here. Um, you, I mean, we're talking professional, professional careers here, professional, professional, probably licenses and certifications and, um, things of that nature. I mean, not messing around positions and we have gift reverse. So these people are specifically in here from spirit, $10,000 sign on bonuses and more for some of these situations, some a lot more. So they're not going to be a gift to the company. They're not going to be a gift to the company. For some, I feel this could be a company that you work for or that you own or you have stock in in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, or you are an employee at this company and maybe you're going to help hire them in. I heard the people coming in are very skilled magic magicians, meaning they're highly, and I heard in here from Spirit, they're highly manipulative and very lazy. And they're basically going to be very bad investments. So gift reverse, they're not going to be a gift to the company, but they're going to man highly manipulate. I feel they're going to highly manipulate the person or people about to hire them into thinking they're the best thing that, since fried rice. Um, and then they get hired in in these very high level positions and then they don't do jack shit um, or they don't do it correctly. And then it makes the it screws everything up in there or makes the company, uh, you know, makes it go down and creates negative series of chain events. And then you have to fix more than that's helping basically. So they're not going to be get a gift. They're not going to be a gift to the um, position or to the company. So the company's going to spend all this sign on bonus money and all this money paying them for their skills and services, but their skills and services are basically going to be sucky. Um, I hate to put it like that, but I don't know how else to put it. This is terrible. Messages you have reflected. Yeah, I heard they're very lazy. I heard they're very lazy and pull and labor reverse pop out. Message of concern reversed. Official person upright. Number 38, 14, or 22 could be very significant in one's life. 38, 14, or 22, that could be a possible age of a child of yours or a child you're connected to, 14. Also, 38 and 22 could be significant ages of you or somebody you're connected to. Also, it could be a possible date of birth number, um, lottery number, um, green card number, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, 38 and 22 and 14. Total labor reversed. I heard they're very lazy in here. 
highly manipulated, very lazy. They're basically going to weasel their way into these sign-on bonus positions and either do jack crap or near jack crap. Probably sit in the office all day, not do jack crap. Um, expect everybody to do everything. Not a true leader, basically. Not a true leader. Because these are leadership positions. Whatever they are, they're leadership S type positions. Because you're not going to get a $10,000 sign on bonus or more, a lot more in some of these cases, if it's not a leadership type position in some shape, form, or fashion, whatever career sector this is. So this is laziness, manipulation to get hired in. They're probably going to smooth the hire people that are going to hire them in. They're probably going to smooth them, probably compliment them. Probably, oh, I love your hair. Oh my God, you did such a good job decorating this office. Or, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. They're going to smooth them. They're going to smooth them. They're going to weasel their way in. And then they're going to do jack crap. And then these people are going to be stuck with the smooth talkers. I hear the song, smooth operator. Smooth operator. Laziness. Manipulation. Message of concern reversed. In some of these situations, they will not communicate it to corporate or the owner. But corporate and the owner will find out through a series of chain of events. And it's going to go badly for everybody. Oh, Lord. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So, heard in some of these situations. Um, okay, so somebody inside the site, facility, location, what have you, is going to know. I mean, they're going to have to know that this person is either not doing their job, not doing it in a timely manner, like time, time management, or um, they have screwed up something badly and have not tried to amend it or get help to amend it. That's what I'm feeling. Um, they're not going to communicate it. I heard some to the... Um, owner, owner of the company, I'm feeling, and some to um, corporate. So corporate America, you know, they're at a site location, what have you, what have you, and then communicating up to corporate. Uh, I heard they're not going to because they don't, I don't think they want to know, corporate to know they screwed up in the hiring process is what I'm feeling. Um, but I heard the, the owner or corporate's going to find out. So they're not going to send a message of concern. They're not going to send an email, a text, a um, uh call they're not going to call corporate or the owner and let them know that they basically screwed up with a horrible freaking candidate um they're, they're gonna go you know behind the scenes behind the table behind in the dark energy but i heard basically it's going to catch up to the person that hired um this person or people or people that hired this person or people and the person um so messages are a concern reverser they're going to try to hide it and they're going to try to hide it hugely, but it's about to backfire in a huge way. Okay, I heard, and they're going to try to hide it hugely, but it's about to backfire in a huge way. So if they're going to try to hide the fact, they're going to try to hide it hugely, basically, that they hired a very unqualified individual. Um, and I'm assuming they're not going to try to get them out with a breach of contract, because whoever this is, I feel they might have to sign a contract. I didn't hear they did. I didn't hear they had to sign a contract. But if you are... Getting a sign-on bonus. Now, everybody, every company, every situation is different. Some, you can get the bonus at the beginning. You don't have to sign a contract. You just have to stay to a certain amount of months. And then um, you get the rest of your money. So, and that's usually, that's how I've noticed. I've been on a lot of interviews recently. So, that's how I know notice it's been working for some of the places. But some, they might actually have to sign a fiscal contract, possibly. But however, that, however that's resonating, they're not going to communicate it up the chain. I think they feel ashamed. They don't not going to have clear communication. They, they are not ashamed. I mean, they are ashamed. And But I heard it's about to backfire on them and the person or people and the person or people they hired into these sign, huge sign-on bonus positions where they're doing jack crap. Official person upright, I think this might be your energy. I think you might be the owner of the company or owners of the company or you might work in corporate. However, that resonates for you. Official person upright. Um, for some, you could be the ones that made them uh, either made the mistake to hire these. You thought they were the best thing to slice cheese qualified candidates, but they're really not. You that's possibly could be you. Possibly, you have to plug it in how that resonates if it resonates for you. Um, you know, everybody's life situation is different. Every reading is different, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you do, um, if you do, 
official person upright. But like I said, I feel this might be you owner of the company or owners of the company. Maybe you have stock in the company. Maybe you're actual owner owner. Maybe you're co-owner. Um, maybe you are working corporate. I think official person is corporate energy in this situation and owner owners. Let's see if we hear anything. Some companies are about to do huge investigations, internal investigations into documentation. They are about to be very, very, very upset. Very. Oh my God. I heard um, some companies are about to do huge internal investigations into um, documentation, I heard, in, in the company. So in the sites, locations, areas, facilities, um, places, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're about to basically do a huge internal investigation into the paperwork, the, the documentation, the, um, um, the, um, the inner workings. I'm assuming the work that these people are not doing and leaving to the side um, and praying it'll get done on Friday, I guess, or what have you, energy. Um, but I heard it's internal. So it's an internal company investigation. So in this aspect, this could be you, owner of the company or co-owner of the company or some kind of corporate energy. I feel it's corporate about to do this. Um, I didn't hear corporate, but that's my deductive logic and reasoning on this. I feel corporate is about to start internally investigating the sites, the locations, the places. And yes, absolutely, because that's how you hold these sites, locations, and um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, accountable. Um, because if you don't, um, it's going to continue the same way it was before. And if you didn't like the way it was, the uh, same way it was before, it's just going to continue that way if you don't, you know, um, do your end on the corporate level, in my opinion. In my opinion, I've never worked for corporate ever in any of my companies I've ever worked at. I never worked for corporate. I would have, lo I would love to work for corporate um, in some areas. I would love to, I feel I would love to do that. Um, I'm very dedicated, loyal employee, a very, very, very dedicated, loyal employee. And um, I've loved to work in corporate. I never got that opportunity in any of the companies I've ever worked in, but I would love to do it. Uh, but anyways, besides that though, um, I feel this is you corporate energy. I feel this is you um, or owner energy or co-owner energy, however that resonates. But you're about to crack down. You're about to crack down how that resonates for you. Um, I think you're about to look at receipts. Um, doc I heard documentation specifically, so it might be receipts. It might be, um, uh, maybe it's, uh, what's it called? Uh, petty money uh, might be the petty money account. It might be the um, or petty cash. It might be the petty cash account. It might be clocking in and out times. It might be time spent on um, somebody's physical documentation in like um, um, system system database energy, or it might be paperwork, physical paperwork. It might be. Um, it might be a uh, vacation um, time or or something of that nature, some kind of internal investigation. It sounds like into employees and um, work that employees is not or not doing. They're not doing it. It sounds like they're just leaving it to the wayside. Oh, I'll get it on Friday. Oh, I've got a colon sick on Friday. I've got a stomach ache. You know, that, that kind of thing. Let's see if we hear anything else. Also, somebody very, very, very high level in the United States, very high level, is about to get wind of a particular situation, harassment and bullying situation in a particular community. There's about to be a huge investment uh, investigation on that as well. It's about to mortify a lot of people. Oh my God, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, these this is high level stuff here. So whoever that's for, I heard um, someone very high level in the United States. 
So high level in the United States, um, I'm thinking that's this person. I think this might be, maybe it's the president of the United States. I didn't hear it was. Um, might be the president, might be somebody who works at the White House. It might be a politician. It might be it's somebody high level. Uh, it could be a masculine energy or a femme energy. It takes on masculine energy. Whoever you are, sir or ma'am, but it's somebody high level. I'm thinking maybe Congress, um, uh, the Pentagon. Well, that's more like um, security, Pentagon is. But, but somebody high level, high level in the United States, whoever you are, sir or ma'am. Um, is about to get wind of, I heard a huge harassment and bullying situation that happened in the past in the community, and they're about to send out a huge investigation about to be performed on it, and it's about to basically mortify many people in that community that this huge investigation is about to be performed. This sounds federal level to me. This does not sound state level. I'm just going to make this clear. It sounds very federal level. Very federal. Very And it's not going to go well for a lot of people in this community. Because way more is going to come out than they want it to. By people they would have never expected. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. So I heard, um, wow. This is, wow. That's huge. Whoever this is for. God. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. Neither one of these has happened yet. There's two situations in here. Um, Neither one's happened yet, but it sounds like it's about to. But um, I heard basically the community is going to be mortified. Many people in the community is going to be mortified of this. Um, it was a past situation that happened of a huge harassment, bullying situation of a person, people, family, situation, or group. Um, but I heard basically they're going to be mortified because I heard a, a ton of information is going to come out by people they do not want it to come out by. Um, and it's basically going to... Uh, spark this investigation or fuel this investigation and it's basically not going to go the way the community wants it to it's not going to go the way it wants they want it to at all at all hid a ton okay i heard it's not going to go the way they want it to at all they hit a ton so the community hit a ton but it's about to be exposed it's about to be exposed so I think this might be investigator energy or investigators. I heard a huge federal investigation. So I think it's several, maybe you're the federal agent or agents about to investigate this community. I wonder if it's Secret 7 community. I didn't hear it was. I did not hear it was Secret 7 community. But I wonder if it is. Um, or a Secret 7 community. Because there's a ton of Secret 7 communities now created by the original Secret 7 <clears throat> crazy ass situation that happened in Huntsville, Alabama. So... It might be the original one, or it might be one of the other Secret Seven communities, um, because you know it basically created a, a domino effect um, negatively in the freaking United States of America, and it even went to other countries. It was that terrible because the community refused to shut it down, and it went on for years. I mean, so you plug it in how it resonates. But I feel you, maybe you're the federal investigator. Or investigators about to investigate this. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Or you could be the high level person. In the United States, um, I'm feeling you might work for the government or you might work in Congress or the White House or you might be the president, um, sir or ma'am, whoever you are, um, that's basically about to help. Uh, you're going to spearhead this investigation. Um, and then you can be the federal investigator or investigators about to investigate it. However, that resonates. Wow. Let's see if we hear anything else. Not going to play around. Okay, I heard not going to play around. Man, not, so I'm assuming corporate's not going to play around. Uh, the owner of the company or company's not going to play around because that was the first situation. You plug in how it resonates. And the, fed, you, the federal investigators are not going to play around or investigator and the person about to spearhead this high-level federal investigation in this community I'm thinking a city. I'm thinking a freaking city or a town or what have you. Some kind of secret 7S type community or town or city. I didn't hear that, but that's my presumptive logic reasoning and guesstimate on this. Not going to play around on both of these situations. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, you guys, we're done. Wow. Love you guys. I'm going to say.